good morning students today we will study the social study in history historians have divided our indian history into three parts that is also called the three periods the first is the, is the ancient period second is the medieval period and third is the modern period so now you have to understand about the ancient period ancient period started from the zero years to 7th century ad and after that medieval period medieval period started or extended from 700 ad to 1750 ad in this period european people came Euro european people came to trade in our india after that modern period this modern period extended from 1750 to till now okay now you are we are in the modern period so this time uh, the indian indian people indian people learnt many things by the europeans such as the Indi industrialization urbanization the growth of cities science liberty etc included in this point after that next next topic we have to understand sources of history S sources of history first the is divided into two parts archaeological sources and literary sources okay did you understand archaeological sources and literary sources okay student please pay attention archaeological sources were non written archaeological means the the scientist or the uh, literated people uh, dig the earth and after that they found the many things by digging things which were found and people those who are doing this these are uh, these are called the archaeological in this jewelry and beads these are the ornaments श्रृंगार के सामान खोजने के बाद मिला फोसिल्स फोसिल्स मीन्स द इम्प्रिंट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन्स दीस आर दीस आर द बोन्स विच आर फाउंड नेक्स्ट इज द मोन्यूमेंट्स मोन्यूमेंट्स आर द बिल्डिंग्स फोर्ट्स फोर्ट्स किला सब एंड द पैलेसेस and other pillars also okay did you understand okay students now artifacts artifacts are the man made objects like the vessels vessels and the stone tools and uh, other things also okay but this you are understanding these are the objects after that coins coins were made of made of metals they were they were made of the copper they were made of the silver they were made of the the golds and they were using these things and these are found by digging next is inscriptions Ins inscriptions are the writings which are found uh, engraved on so the people engraved the writings on the walls pillars uh, in the caves cave walls 
they were finding this this were called the inscriptions next is the literary sources okay second part literary sources these are the written records now also these are uh, the find or you can read okay uh, one thing here manuscript okay manuscripts are the written by hand or the hand written records are called the manuscript okay uh, the here the, the books the many books were written okay are after that this literary sources are divided into three categories number 1 religious category number 2 historical category or number 3 account of foreign travelers these are also sources okay now religious sources religious sources are the religious books such as the ramayana mahabharata bhagavad gita etc okay vedas also next is historical a uh, ancient people wrote the many autobiographies many books poems plays etc these are called the historical records or the sources account of foreign travelers in our india many foreign people came to to trade or to see our india so uh, here the in our history the fahin from uh, other country megasthenes from other country albiruni he was also a foreign traveler so they also they also uh, came and gave the Uh, the t- uh, some teachings or the experience in our india okay students now these sources you have to keep in your mind and we have to preserve these sources okay thank you students